Right, this wasn't supposed to happen. But we're coming to the game off uh, on the back of a 20 game unbeaten run. Uh, Favourites to win. Um, unfortunately, first half we went one down uh, quite early on. And you're thinking, we need to get back into this game quick, otherwise it could be a bit difficult this, and fortunately enough, here it comes. Ball in, and I was just thinking, that it's a big goalkeeper, I can't remember his name now, but he wasn't the youngest. And I, I just turned and swivelled and, and hit it low, Any, anything low. And fortunately enough, it, it goes in and the, the keeper doesn't really see it. And it doesn't matter what you say, I know it's the, the Sherpa van, but I've scored a goal at Wembley. I've got a picture on the wall at home which all, you know, is there for posterity. It'll always be there. And we're back in the game, more importantly. And the electronic scoreboard, once again, we're sure you went to Ikea in the lead. And there it is, 1-1. One, one. Equaliser by Julian Derby. Look at the supporters. Wow, there was, there was 25, 30, uh, 25, 30 thousand there. And it was absolutely boiling on the day. That's a Here we go. Oh, super ball. Great ball by Beef. Crazy legs, Barry Cowdrill. Jeff Chandler. There he goes. Listen, they all go in. Was it missing? Who cares? He gets a deflection. It goes in the goes in the corner. Dies for Jeff because he had a. It was a great player. He was here. He had a couple of uh, stints at the club. Fantastic. The first the first stint. Um, then came back for a second stint and did his cruciate quite early on. And this was just as he was coming back from his cruciate. From then on, really, you're thinking, right. Here we go. They're not getting back into this. This is ours. They've just had a feeling. And now we'll see Dean Crombie go. Go on, Dino. <laughs> there he goes. He could run all day. He was one of the fittest guys. And it's brass centre half. There he is, number five. He's centre forward. And what a finish. Wow, the number of people who remember that goal as well. I think it's probably one of the only goals he scored for us. It was a close first personal friend, Dean, always a smashing guy. And for you know for that to happen at, at that stage of his career and was made up for him. But what a finish. That was the composure there. It's a striker's finish, to be fair. It's a striker's finish. 3-1 and it's party time in the stands. And there we go, Stuart Storer. No one's catching him. He was one of the quickest. And then Sumo. <laughs> what a character he was. Fantastic guy. Fantastic guy. So as uh, uh, Chin, as, as Stuart Story was called, he'd say he was, he was that quick, it was ridiculous. Stick anything in the space and he's after it. And I say, what a feeling. Walking up them steps. Phil Brown, fantastic. He was, as well as being a fantastic guy, he was, he was a great captain as well. Great ambassador for Bolton Wanderers. And it was Elton John. Elton John was the uh, the person who we, were, who, who, who we were invited to at the beginning when we were all stood waiting for the national anthem. 30,000 Bolton fans. Uh, right at the end of, of May, um, we'd had a, a spell where the clubs were the club was in, in the, the doldrums. We'd gone down to the what was then the, the old fourth division for the first time in our history. We managed to get out the year before. Um, at the first time Vaskin at Wrexham, which was another fantastic day, and say the, ne the, the, the next year um, <clears throat> to, to actually go to Wembley last game of the season. It was brilliant.